from Montreal Beat reporter John Liu. And I'll tell you what, John, um, a really nice starting line for the Montreal Canadiens, and they get off to a perfect start in this game when you've got Anderson and you've got Drouin and you've got Suzuki. And Josh Anderson scores again. Um, he's been very, very good. Austin Matthews, well, his streak came to an end at eight straight games in which he had scored a goal, which I guess is a story in itself considering how hot he's been. What do you think of their respective games? Uh, well, if we start with Matthews, that's one thing the Canadians can point to tonight, Dutchie, that they did well, is that they limited Austin Matthews. Uh, like you said, he snapped an eight-game goal streak, or he, his eight-game goal streak ended tonight. Uh, the, for a second game in a row, the Canadians held him to zero goals. One assist in each of their two meetings, a total of 10 shots on goal, but they didn't get beat by the most deadly weapon on the Toronto side. Uh, as far as uh, Josh Anderson is concerned, about a month ago, I think it was about a month ago, Thomas Tatar uh, accidentally, or maybe it wasn't accidental, dubbed Anderson the Power Horse. And so that nickname has sort of caught on. And, and in the first shift of the game for the Suzuki line, you saw all elements of the Power Horse on display. He throws a hit, a hit at the uh, by the bench, turns on the Jets, holds off John Tavares and scores uh, his fifth goal in his last four games. So he's on a nice little streak for the Canadians right now. And that was another positive that Montreal could look toward is that Anderson is now tied for the team lead in goals with Tyler Toffoli with nine. Yeah, I thought the game was really competitive between the two. It could have gone either way. The Maple Leafs were a little bit better. And as you had mentioned, it wasn't their top line that was scoring for them. It was done by committee. The Leafs benefited from their secondary scoring tonight. And that kind of was the difference, wasn't it? Yeah, what I found really interesting, Dutchie, was that uh, two of their goals came on four on four. And when you think of all the extra room and ice to maneuver and operate, you would imagine that the Leafs' big guns were the ones that take advantage of that. But instead, it's two defensemen, Travis Dermott and then Justin Hole getting all getting their first goals of the season. And then if you throw in Ilya Mikhaev with his first of the season, well, this was really a case of the Toronto depth coming to the forefront and outshining the Canadians' depth, which is something that a lot of people are talking about is how deep the Canadians are. But today... The uh, Leafs were a little bit better in that department. You know what? I thought the first game could have went Montreal's way. It did not. The Maple Leafs, they win again tonight. This was the first of three between these two clubs in the next 11 days, uh, which means we'll be soaring, seeing more of you, which is a good thing. Thanks very much.